you know what natto is? It's this gooey stuff. Look how gooey it is. Have you ever heard of this? It's called natto. Um, it's a traditional um, food from Japan. And see, so it's, it's actually soybean and this bacteria that is taken from the soil called Sela subtilis, Sela subtilis, and the soybeans are boiled and mixed with the bacteria. And then it's allowed to ferment. And all this gooey, slimy stuff that you see is actually um, probiotic rich culture. And so it's a traditional form of food that's from Japan that is known for uh, its heart healing and cardiovascular healing effects on the body. And it's uh, traditionally served like over toast for breakfast or with eggs um, and rice, or uh, sometimes people add soy sauce to it or mix it up with um, sushi, like a vegan sushi roll. It smells like pretty funky. Like I'm, it smells, <laughs> it smells really, 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 really funky. And, um, it tastes really funky as well. Like kind of like, um, I don't know, like a blue cheese with cappuccino and smoke is how I would describe it. Um, but I think it's something that you get used to. So there's a lot of different health properties to natto. Uh, one of them is that there's something called natto kinase in it. And so natto kinase is this specific um, uh, nutrient that's only found in natto that's very good for the heart and blood and circulatory system. And then it's also got a lot of vitamin K, uh, K1 and K2 in it that's also really good for your blood and circulatory system as well. And um, sometimes people will take the natto kinase supplementally in a pill because the taste and the smell of natto itself is, is kind of intense. However, in Ayurveda, um, we understand that foods really contain the total intelligence, the total healing property of the plant or the food itself. And while you can isolate things like people do with natto kinase, uh, you're not getting the full benefit that there are other, you know, other enzymes, other nutritive properties in the food itself, and they work together collectively to create the desired effect. Um, so while this stuff does not taste, you know, super pleasant, I think that over time you could really get used to it <laughs> and it would be worth it because I mean, this is like, this slime is actually the, um, is the probiotic itself. It is the bacteria itself. Um, which kind of brings me to my next point of wanting to create this video today. So I work with dieters a lot, people that want to lose weight. And I've been doing that pretty consistently for the past 15 years of my life. And so I've noticed that there are certain things that help and certain things that don't help. And fortunately, a lot of the things that don't help are really enmeshed in the whole um, dieting and weight loss mainstream paradigm. And so if you've ever gone on a diet, you've probably done this. I know that I've done this myself. Um, you know, you get the diet and you're super inspired uh, to, to start it. And then you immediately delegate, you know, what, you're go what you can eat and what you cannot eat on the diet itself. Um, however, where your attention goes, that's where energy flows. In other words, you know, whatever it is that you're deciding, determining that you cannot eat on your diet, there's always some part of you that has the attention on those things. And for people that are on restrictive diets or on like a super new diet, if your attention is always on what you cannot have more than focusing on you, what you should have, that can lead to feeling very suppressed. It can lead to guilt and it can lead to binging out, essentially. Um, and that really can be injurious to a person's self-esteem when it happens 
over time. So one of the things that really I empathize with my dieters for is how injurious going on the dieting process over and over can be and how it can really impact a person's self-esteem and um, belief and confidence in their ability to adhere to a diet. Um, so the fault in it is really where you're putting your attention and your focus. So when I work with clients, one of the first things I do is actually suspend going on a diet altogether and doing some work around uh, identifying what your personal health values are and principles. Because if your dietary program is not in alignment with your personal values and principles, that's also going to feel like suppression. And then after that, we start focusing on the things that we should be eating rather than all the things that we shouldn't. Actually, I suggest not even cutting things out. You know, if you want to start living a healthier lifestyle, um, and then start doing things that will help you to live in alignment with an actual healthy lifestyle, not things that are going to be super restrictive and not an expression of how you'd actually want to live your life. Um, so if you want to live a moderate life, practice moderation. Don't practice restriction or extremism. Um, and so that brings me back <laughs> to natto. Uh, natto is a probiotic rich food and it's a fermented food. And we have uh, fermented foods all over the planet Earth from all sorts of cultures all around the world. People have been fermenting their food as a primary source of preservation, you know, through winter months or through periods of famine. That's how they would safeguard and preserve the food so that they could eat it later. The amazing thing about fermenting is that when the foods would ferment, they would create all these cultures, as we can see here in the, the slimy netto. That's all bacteria culture. And so what that would do is repopulate your gut with important beneficial bacteria and flora that we need for our immune system. Uh, that's a big thing for healthy immune system is, is probiotic rich foods. So 80% of the immune system is actually in the gut. Um, these bacteria also are highly anti-inflammatory, which we know that inflammation is a primary cause of disease in the body. But not only that, we also know now from a lot of recent studies that have been coming out that inflammation is a primary cause of anxiety and depression. Uh, so a lot of times when we feel, you know, um, not so well in our mind, we think that we have some kind of, you know, mental issue or we approach it from the mind. But sometimes what's going on in our mind is actually just a symptom of what's going on inside of the body. So eating a lot of probiotic rich foods is anti-inflammatory. It helps boost your immune system and it's really good for mental and emotional health. Um, so not only do you want to be eating a lot of probiotic rich foods in your diet to actually help to populate uh, the gut, and actually this goes back to what I was talking about earlier with favoring eating whole plant foods rather than taking things supplementally, because while there are you know probiotic supplements out there, probiotic supplements actually behave very differently in our digestive system than eating whole foods. So a probiotic supplement is actually a lot more transitory. So meaning that you take these probiotic pills and they move through the gut and then they eliminate out the body. Whereas if you eat a probiotic rich food like natto or kimchi or yogurt, or I really like kefir, then these probiotic bacteria actually hang out in your digestive system and they repopulate and they live there much longer. So again, the first part of it is actually eating the probiotics, actually eating the beneficial flora that you, your body needs and needs to be in your gut. And then the second part is eating foods that feed this bacteria. So these bacteria, the bacteria in your gut actually consume food. And so the best food for the beneficial flora in your gut tends to be plant-based foods. So fruits, vegetables, and whole grains tend to be the best food sources for the beneficial flora in your gut. So I hope that this information aids you today. Um, and I hope that you explore the world of probiotic rich foods and focus your attention on the things that you should eat rather than what needs to be cut out or what you're doing wrong and uh, focus on, on what you're doing right today and see, see what happens. Thank you.